Hey everybody, Sean here. Today I'm back with another tutorial. I haven't done one of them in a while. Uh, if you lost on my latest existence video, we did some uh, cheesy cheesy stuff and we duped some shulker boxes. And we had to get the zombies down to exactly half a heart so they would be a one hit kill. Now, you'd think that's pretty easy because like other mobs, you can drop them but they will not end up at half a heart. It'll either be one heart or they die. You can't put a half slab to make it work exactly. Unlike skeletons and creepers and other mobs, which is, is sad. It's annoying. Now, I know you can use it for duping shulker boxes, or you can also use it for a zombie crusher so that you only have to punch them to kill them. It's pretty compact, as you can see. I'm pretty happy at how much I managed to compact it. You saw the video, it was not very compact at all and very expensive. But uh, it's really easy to use. Just press this button, and they go to exactly half a heart, and they're all one hit kill. You can get like the XP. I would say a lot of XP, but it's not a lot of XP. They're only zombies. Now, it's really easy to, to build. All you'll need is three redstone repeaters, four redstone, a sticky piston, two observers, a dispenser, a lava bucket, about a stack of blocks of your choice. Uh, I like to use glass for the part over here. You can a wooden trap door to keep out the water here, and you can still look in. An iron trap door up here. I'll explain that later. A wooden button needs to be a wooden button because of the delay a wooden button uh, creates. You need a lever to control the iron trap door and you need a bucket of water. So let's grab all of these. And let's start. So, it's, you need a 4 by 5 area to begin. No, sorry, 4 by 6 area. That's just me being stupid. 4 by 6 area to begin. Uh, you want to come in one block and you want to build a wall like this. And you want to punch out these two blocks, come up here, and place your glass up there. You want to put a trapdoor underneath, place a block above, and put your lever on here. Put your iron trapdoor off that block. Now the iron trapdoor is so that the zombies do not be bobbing up and down the water. Because if we see without them... We got a zombie spawn egg now, so I can show you. See without it... The zombie will just be bobbing up and down, and there's a chance that it'll die because it'll be outside the water. Or it might take damage from sunlight or whatever. So what I like to do is I like to have them fall onto this trapdoor, like water to stop them taking any fall damage. And fall onto this trapdoor, and then I let them through. And I want them through. So that's why that is there. So then, we can come around the back here. Come onto this block here. And place a block. And you get your three repeaters. Put first one, four ticks. Next one, three ticks. Block. One tick. Or one tick. One tick. No, don't change it. A block. Beside that, place a piston. Place an observer facing this, this way. So you want to be facing this way. Above that, you want to go up. And you want to place in an observer facing in, in the this direction. Opposite way that the observer below is facing. Then place a dispenser here, put your lava inside, get your water bucket, place it in here, and get your... Oh, whoops. Make sure to block up this. That was my mistake. Next, you want to get the redstone, place on this block, and here. There's a block here, and on top. And that is it done. So you need to add your button in front. And let's get in a zombie. And you should go down to have a heart. Easy peasy. Now, this works because uh, the observers push up and they make a really fast clock when a piston pushes the observer into another observer. And if we have it on exactly 16 game ticks, or 8 redstone ticks, uh, it brings the zombie down to exactly half a heart, because it gets rid of the armor point and does the extra half a heart to damage done. You need the water to stop the zombies burning to death afterwards. And if you use an iron sword, you can sweep attack kill any zombie inside there. So we can plop in a few zombies. Get them all down to have a heart, and we sweep attack all of them. Stone sword doesn't do enough damage. But uh, it's really easy to build. Hope this helps. Uh, you can use it for a zombie XP farm, or anything else. And, yeah, this is a zombie softener. Uh, I haven't seen any like it. Any like it. Uh, it's not like a really hard design, but it took a small bit of time. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. And gals, hope you enjoyed.